the Geo phone grabbed everyone's attention for delivering smartphone like capabilities at a feature phone price. It triggered competitors to push out VoLTE enabled phones of all kinds at lower prices. The Micromax Bharat 1 is one such model launched by the Indian device maker in partnership with BSNL. But can it outperform the Geo phone? We have the answers. The Micromax Bharat 1 has a 2.4 inch display and a numeric keypad. The display has a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels. Viewing angles aren't great and colors appear washed out. The buttons are made of plastic and have blue backlighting. The earpiece doubles up as the device's loudspeaker. There's a VGS selfie camera on the front and a 2 megapixel primary camera on the back. The back cover comes off and reveals a removable 2000mAh battery. Under the battery are two micro SIM slots and a dedicated micro SD card slot. Like many other budget phones, the Bharat One also has an LED torch on the top. You turn it on by pressing and holding the D-pad's center button. The Micromax Bharat One is powered by a dual-core Snapdragon 205 processor and has 512 MB of RAM. There is 4 GB of internal storage out of which you get around 2 GB to use. Storage is expandable up to 128 GB using a micro SD card. This is a dual SIM device but 4G and VoLTE are supported only on the first SIM. The second one will be restricted to 2G or 3G networks but there is no way to determine what speed you are getting. We found that the phone isn't locked to any carrier and worked fine when we tested it using multiple SIM cards. There is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity along with GPS. You can set up a Wi-Fi hotspot as well as use USB tethering. Micromax told Gadgets360 that the Bharat One runs on a customized version of Android. There is no app drawer and everything is accessed through a menu using the D-pad to navigate and the center button to select. Sadly, the four buttons of the D-pad aren't shortcuts which could have helped to launch apps quickly. The Bharat One has icons for WhatsApp and Facebook Lite but these need to be downloaded before you can use them. There's also a link to the YouTube website, a web browser, music and video players, a file manager and FM radio. There is a fun app that gives you access to live TV, videos and movies but the content on offer is far less than what is offered on the Geophone. Considering that this phone runs Android, we did try to load a few APKs but Micromax seems to have disabled this. There is no way to download or sideload other Android apps. The performance of the phone is average. We felt lag while dialing numbers and typing. Battery life is quite good. With light use limited to a few calls and a few WhatsApp messages every now and then, we could go on for over two days with some juice left in the tank. Since there is no way of installing more apps, you can expect similar battery life. However, if you use it as a hotspot, the battery does drain fast. The Bharat One's rear camera does not have autofocus which is acceptable considering its price. Photos lack detail and most will end up blurry if you don't stand very still. The selfie camera suffers from similar issues and we also saw chroma noise in most photos clicked indoors. Both cameras are barely usable and the output looks good only on the phone's tiny display. If you want a feature phone for basic calls plus Facebook and WhatsApp, the Micromax Bharat One fits the bill. You will have to shell out 2200 rupees and the Bharat One will be yours without any fine print to deal with. You can also use it with any service provider of your choice. The advantage of using BSNL is that you get a 97 rupee recharge pack which offers unlimited calls and data only for the Bharat One. The Wi-Fi hotspot and USB tethering capabilities and the fact that this phone isn't locked to a single network gives the Bharat One an edge over the Geo phone. However, Micromax seems to have limited the usability of Android since there is no Play Store and no way of installing more apps, you have to live with what you get. If you are looking for your first smart feature phone or a secondary backup device, then the Bharat One should be able to keep you happy. And that was our review of the Micromax Bharat One. For all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.